thinking how lots and, and trails parallel, you know, I'm going through this beautiful trail and there's obstacles. There's, there's things that you face or you have to deal with that want you, that want to make you, um, turn around and go home. You know, there's, there's snakes out here. There's spiders. There's ticks. There's chiggers. There's alligators and, and some different trails. There's bears and bobcats and all kinds of things that can make us afraid and people even people um but there's also blessings and so you know it's like learning to to walk and not to allow the enemy to intimidate us with the snakes with the with the things that might might happen there's a big hole I wonder what lives in there I wonder how well, how deep it goes there's a lot of what ifs but you know like I was saying before we're not called to live by the what ifs we're called to live by faith and truth is is that you have more courage than you know it's like earlier I was talking about my little grandson Landon saying I'm, it's scary out here Can, is my mommy going to be able to find me he was he was in a place he wasn't sure about but but the truth was is that I was there I was right there with him and and God is right right there with you he's right here with me look at this huge oak tree it's massive it's gorgeous such a pretty section um, and, you know, if something tried to hurt my, my grand boys, that's how big that thing is. I don't know if this does it justice, but it, I, I don't know how many, maybe you could put 20 people in there. <laughs> um, I would fight tooth and nail. To protect that little boy or Braylon and and God he is for us he's not against us we think because bad things have happened in our life that oh God's not there for us but he is and um and bad things have happened in all of our lives but that doesn't mean that God's not, not there. And um, fear can cripple you. It can paralyze you. And it's, it's, I mean, it's a thief. As much as I love my grandboys and my kids, God loves us so much more. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cave right there. The sinkhole, or I don't know if it's a sinkhole. I guess it's where the overflow in the river floods. And there's a river on that side. I'm using, since I've been 
going to campsites the past two days where I can charge my phone. I've been able to to blog more. I try not to get on any social media though because that kind of is a distraction. So I limit myself from any of that. Turtle just jumped on, jumped off a log right there. Seen lots of turtles, but no alligators. And it's amazing because you know there's probably tons of alligators out there in that water, but I haven't seen the first one this whole um, 36 miles or whatever I've done now. I haven't looked lately. But I have seen several snakes. I have seen no rattlesnakes. And I don't think moccasins think non-poisonous. Um, I don't know if you can see these little weeds I'm walking through. They don't look really thick here, but they, they come in, they close in on the trail. And they, they got little things on them on the ends, on the tips that stick in your, your socks. And they're, they feel like little splinters. It's really, really fun. <laughs> so when I get through sections like this, I have to check myself for ticks continually. Since I've had a few. Um, deer tick on my clothes, even though I've treated them heavily. They're supposed to last up to like four washes, and they haven't been washed at all, except for my underwear I washed last night. I know you guys are all glad to hear. Another sinkhole or an indention. I'm not sure. Should be coming up on Mitchell Creek up here soon, and it's a pretty neat little place that I discovered. Um, I don't remember exactly when I discovered it in the last couple of years, and I think it is pretty amazing. Can't wait to get to my camp for tonight so I can doctor my feet some more because the blisters that I doctored last night are begging for some more attention and it's supposed to rain a lot today which thank the Lord it's been cool and hasn't rained even though it's been very muggy tomorrow is supposed to be a lot of rain and I got to just got a face full of spider. Ugh. So, I'm going to see how it is tomorrow. And depending on how it goes, I may end up staying at that shelter I'm going to tonight. Again, tomorrow, if they'll let me because of the fact it just depends I don't I mean I do hike in the rain I just don't really like setting up my tent in the rain that doesn't mean I won't but last night I got to the camp and there was rumblings and the storm was threatening and like it does and I almost begging I said Lord please please don't let it rain till I get my tent put up because I just was not oh, another face full of spider web on. It's not fun putting up your tent in the rain. So, and I haven't really, I got, since I got this new tent, this is, this is my first time using it on this 
this trip. Although last night was my third. I mean, I've put in, I've practiced at home, but I haven't um haven't um actually camped with it. I hear the waterfall, and it sounds like there's water. Yay! This is Mitchell Creek. And something just jumped in the water over there. Not sure what it was. Must have been a turtle there. Um. Ah, thank you, Lord. Now I lost my train of thought, so. Let's just enjoy the waterfall for a moment. <laughs> I think this is the whirlpool. I don't know. It's amazing how many beautiful things are right here around where we live. And we don't even know it. It's, I've seen it flowing a lot more than this. And it's really pretty. It's a really nice little waterfall. Um, but this is but considering that it's even flowing as low as some of the water is, it's pretty awesome. Oh, I was talking about the water. I mean, it's starting to rain. I got my tent set up just in time last night before the rain started. Oh, I see an alligator. I see him. He's over there. I think he just went down. But thank God. I got my tent put up just in time before it started raining. And I actually, I had, I had camped right behind the, um, the bathhouse. And so I was able to go take a bath and it was the longest hot shower I have probably taken ever. And I was washing all my stuff. I didn't actually get to bed last night till like 10 o'clock. Well, maybe even 11, I don't remember. Because it was streams in the desert. Oh, thank you, Lord. Because um, I had so many chores to do and then I had lost my glasses, which was really crazy. I cannot believe I did that. And my poor husband, I bless him. He is, he is such a blessing to me. And I used to question God why he brought us together because we have completely different personalities and we think so differently. But recently at church, a sweet lady, she, she just was, um, she just said that she knew why God put her and her husband together. And it was because he helped her not to be so not to be, well, not to be so, not, not to be religious. He helped her. That's why God brought them together, because she could make everything, make, make out of everything, Holy Spirit or spiritual. And 
I was like, yes, Lord, thank you. Now I understand. And from that, from that moment, I realized my husband is, we don't have to think different. I don't have to think like everybody else. And they don't have to think like me. Are we? Yes, I believe that God is the only answer. Jesus. But that does not mean that um, we have to be all stiff and boring and rigid so we can be free. And that's what he called us to be. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. But I am I just wanted to say I thank God for my husband and our differences because it is a blessing. He helps me see things from a different point of view. And he also is very good to me because without a husband like him, I would not be out here doing this because a lot of husbands would be like, you can't do that. You should be at home being afraid or catering to me. And my husband, he works very hard and he does not expect me just to sit around and not not do anything. I mean, he, of course, he does it. He does want me to do things around the house and and all that. But he also gives me the freedom to be able to to explore and to enjoy my hobbies. So I'm thankful for him. <laughs>